Hello fellow mobile gamers, welcome to Gaming on Phones YouTube channel. You must have heard the name of Genshin Impact. It is one of the most popular video games since its release in 2020. Recently, there has been a lot of excitement in the community since HoYoWars revealed that Genshin Impact will get its own anime adaptation, albeit there are still a lot of unsolved concerns. It has been announced that Yu Fotable, the Japanese animators behind Demon Slayer, Fate Zero, God Eater and others will be working on the project. As the studio has a reputation for producing such high quality animated shows over the past 10 years, this announcement was positively received by the fans. Fans are generally positive about the news of an anime adaptation of Genshin Impact as many have already seen the potential of Genshin's lore to be portrayed in an anime adaptation. The in-game lore of Genshin Impact is a marvel to behold. It has a huge in-game world that interacts with each other and a huge backstory that is yet to be deep-dived into the game. As the anime is supposed to be a prequel to the events happening in the game, it will be very interesting to see the sides of Tavia that people have yet to encounter. A few fans have expressed their desire for the open-world RPG to continue using its in-game voice actors because they have become accustomed to the voices of the adult characters. It would be a smart idea to keep the voice actors out of the game because fans would be familiar with their voices. It would be difficult to envision anyone other than Shun Hori as the voice actor of Aether in Japan or Zack Aguilar in English. For some, character development has already taken at least two years. By using the games as actors for the anime, Genshin Impact might avoid a lot of controversies. It might also be entertaining for players to be able to observe how different people behave in Inazuma vs Liu. Viewing the various species of animals and other creatures that call these places home is perhaps one of the anime's best features. Some people would want to see the cute, mushroom-looking Sumerian forest spirits known as Aranara recreated in the animation style of Ufotable. Although the manga for Genshin Impact isn't as well known as the game, it doesn't fall short when it comes to exposing lore and having lovely artwork. As Lumine and Aether appear in the teaser trailer, it is assumed that the anime will take place during the events that lead to the travelers entering Teviat. The manga gives its readers background on Diluc, Kea and Vanessa by concentrating on a small number of distinct individuals. Some of those backstories could tie into the anime in fascinating ways, perhaps through flashbacks or in other ways that still have an impact on the story either directly or indirectly. It appears that the standard for animation, world building, storytelling and character design is already very good. It has been obvious for a while that Genshin Impact's creator is aware of how well-liked its open-world game is and it always seemed more likely that the development team would be planning something to bring the world of Taviat into a larger audience outside of gaming. It's difficult to envision the program failing, especially if the creators take into account the aspects that viewers already adore and would like to see in the anime. Seeing our favorite game in the anime scene is a huge thing for Genshin Impact fans. With big shoes to fill as the last notable video game anime adaptation is the highly avoided League of Legends Arcane. All we can really do is trust HoYoWars and Ufotable that they can deliver such a huge project that all the fans would love. That's it for today. What are your thoughts about the anime adaptation of Genshin Impact? Let us know in the comments below. If you have loved the video then give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and also tap on the bell icon so you don't miss any videos in the future. We'll be back with more exciting mobile gaming videos soon. Meanwhile, you can always check the previous week's news highlights and our website www.gamingonphone.com. So see you in the next video.